the corkscrew is probably one of the most difficult elements to create although it might not be that apparent after watching this tutorial but I think that when you start to incorporate corkscrews into your design you will quickly discover that the actual implementation depends upon the approach to the element. So in other words it depends upon the shape of the track leading up to the corkscrew. And I struggled for weeks to try to come up with some sort of generic recipe to create uh, corkscrews uh, covering all different approaches but um, I really wasn't able to, to do that so this is the best I could do and hopefully it will, it will get you most of the way there. Alright, so first uh, as we always do Let's set the initial conditions. So the speed will be 23 meters per second. Uh, I set the pitch at 3 degrees, uh, the normal at 3 G's. And we'll go ahead and move the track down to 3 meters above the ground. All right, so the first thing that we'll do is increase the time like so. And at this point, it looks like a loop, and this will form the basis of our corkscrew. And also, we need to make sure we change the orientation. Got to do that at the beginning. So here we have basically a loop, and now what we want to do is add roll to it. Uh, that's e done easy, easily enough. And it turns out we don't want to go uh, a full 360 de degrees. So we want to go most of, uh, of a full uh, 360 degrees, but not quite. So here it's about uh, three quarters of a, of a full circle. And now it's starting to look a little bit like a corkscrew, although it's still quite awkward in shape. And, and the reason it's awkward is because the normal force, which we set to 3 G's at the beginning, is held constant all the way through the element. So it's, a, it's pulling a full 3, G, 3 G's, which is not what will happen in a real corkscrew. In a, in a real element, uh, the, the G force at, at the top of uh, the corkscrew will be less than at the beginning and end. So we can change that by switching to a bump transition and then decreasing the G's by 2, like this. And now it's starting to look much better, although it's still not quite perfect. Uh, there are a couple of things, a couple of issues that we still need to deal with. One is that um, well, the element ends much higher than it begins, and that's something that we'll correct. And also another thing that we'll correct is the fact that it's it's a little bit too tight. I've looked at uh, Google Earth and just studying different floorless corkscrews, I, I determined that uh, the corkscrew element itself, the transition part of it at least, occurs in about a 20 meter by 20 meter box or square. And so this is a little bit too tight. So each square here represents a 10 by 10 meter square. So this is a little bit too tight. So you want to address these two issues. We want to expand it out a little bit so that it's more natural and then make sure that the element ends more or less at the same height that it begins. And so we'll do this by uh, switching to time warping transitions. So this is a little bit more advanced but much more flexible. So let me position it so you can see what's going on. And what I want to do here is decrease the tension. And what this is doing is making so making it so that the, the roll trans transition is a little bit more gradual than it would have otherwise been. And you can see what happened is that we expanded uh, the element out so that it's uh, not quite as uh, drastic. All right, but now you'll notice that uh, element is not quite or the the exit is not quite parallel to the entrance and we can fix that by switching again going to the normal force and switching that to a time warping transition now by default we have a basic transition and again we want to switch to a bump transition so this is 
Uh, I really haven't changed anything at this point uh, with both of these uh, um, values at zero. Nothing has really changed from what we had before. But now, if you can, again, you can see that it's not quite parallel. But now, if we push uh, the center of of this transition a little bit, we can see that we can make the exit more or less parallel to the entrance. So that's all that I have and right now. It's uh, looking pretty good. Again, it's uh, almost a 20 by 20 meter square, so it's relatively realistic. And hopefully, this will be enough to when it comes time to incorporate them into your designs, then if this won't work in and of itself, then it'll be enough to, that you can tweak it so that it, it will work in your design. So good luck.